हाय एवरीबॉडी ऑल ऑफ यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज ए विलेज टीचर एंड हियर आई मेस की त्रिपाठी गिविंग यू ए फ्री ड्राफ्ट ऑफ नॉलेज फ्रॉम द ओशन ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू दैट इन द पास्ट माय टू वीडियोस I have taught you something about a very inspiring and popular poem of 20th century whose title is Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening This poem was written by a famous American poet Robert Frost whose full name was Robert Lee Frost As there are many Indian poets who has composed his poetry in Hindi language such as Surkant Tripathi Nirala Sumitra Nandan Pant Ramdhari Singh Dinkar Jayashankar Prasad Mahadevi Verma etc In the same way there have been many English poets those who were born in England and remained in England some of them are John Keats William Shakespeare William Wordsworth Percy Bysshe Shelley etc In the same way William Butler Yeats came from Ireland and Sir Walter Scott was a Scottish poet and robert burns was also a scot poet means he was a poet of scotland in this connection some poets had their relation to a famous country that is called united states of america among them some are Sir Walt Whitman, Ezra Pound, R. W. Emerson, Ralph Waldo Emerson, E. S. W. Longfellow, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, Robert Frost, etc. Robert Frost was a 20th century poet of United States of America. He was born in the city of San Francisco, State California, USA. On 26th March 1874. The name of his mother was Isabel Moody, while his father's name was William P. Scott Frost. His father had been a school teacher and later on he became a press reporter while his mother worked as a school teacher in a small village his mother isabel moody wanted to name her son after the name of robert burns that was also a scottish poet so this poet was named robert frost full name robert lee frost this was a bad luck that is father pre scott frost had been suffering from a very fatal disease tuberculosis and later on in the year 1890 1885 he passed away from this world those days robert frost was only 10 years old after 
द ट्रैजिक डेथ ऑफ फ्रस्ट फादर हिज फैमिली मूव्ड टू न्यू इंग्लैंड दिस प्लेस आल्सो लाइज इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका यस आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू हिज फैमिली मूव्ड टू न्यू इंग्लैंड अंडर द पैट्रोनेज ऑफ हिज ग्रैंड फादर विलियम फ्रास्ट रॉबर्ट फ्रास्ट इंटर्ड मेनी कॉलेजेस सम ऑफ देम आर लॉरेंस हाई स्कूल लॉरेंस कॉलेज एंड एन अदर डार्ट माउथ कॉलेज एंड हार्वर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अमेरिका बट ही कुड नॉट गेट एनी डिग्री फ्रॉम दीज कॉलेजेस At the age of 22, Robert Frost entered the famous University of America, Harvard University, and he remained there for three years. And he left this university without taking any degree from there. At the age of 21, Robert Frost married. his school fellow that girl also studied uh, in lawrence college in the year of 1895 robert frost married her although frost had proposed her a year ago for marriage but then she denied then she refused to marry him because she wanted to complete his graduation from that college and so after a year in the year of 1895 she agreed to marry frost robert frost and elnor miriam white This was the name of his wife Elnor Miriam White Both bore six children but pathetically only two could survive and the rest four died or committed suicide At the age of 20 Robert Frost wrote his first poem The name of this poem was My Butterfly and Elegy This poem was written in the year 1984 And this poem was published in New York in a very popular weekly newspaper the independent this poem was published and after this poem, after the publication of this poem first six poems were published in a booklet named to light Frost also lived in England for a short period during 1912-1913-1914 and his first volume of poems entitled A Boy's Will was also published in England and in the year of 1915 frost returned to america and became a professor of english poetry in harvard university although frost remained unable in getting any degree from this university but later on this university conferred him on rebel degree frost had uh, frost has written many 
valuable poems that are comprised in his uh, very popular volumes some of them famous volumes are a boy's will new hampshire north of boston west running book mountain interval a witness tree a further range steeple bush in the clearing and the masks these were his famous volumes collection of his poems among his famous poems are road not taken barches the death of a hired man etc road not taken became so famous the poem road not taken taken became so famous that it is uh, still recited when the ceremonies of distributing the degrees in colleges are performed this poem is recited with enthusiasm robert frost robert frost suffered very much during his life span to live his life he had to work in a shoe factory for some time he remained as a farmer as a culturist he also worked as a press reporter and he also worked as a school teacher in a small village his mother also supported him by teaching in a small school in a nearby village frostus was honored by pulitzer prize for four times for his invaluable contribution to english literature the volumes the poetry volumes par which he was uh, awarded with pulitzer prize where the collected poems new hampshire a witness tree and the mountain interval he died at the age of 89 in the year 1963 29 January 1963 in the city of Boston Massachusetts and he was buried there on his epitaph a beautiful line from his beautiful uh, poem the lesson of the day has been inscribed the words of the that line are i had the quarrel of a lover i had the lover's quarrel with this word and this line has become very famous all over america frost was one of the most popular poets of america he is still remembered for his uh, precious contribution to english literature i think this information is aldo a major information but i think it will gratify you I had an earnest desire to relate about the biography of this poet to you who had written such beautiful poems and among them is 
स्टॉपिंग बाय वुड्स ऑन ए स्नोवी इवनिंग दैट इज प्रेस्क्राइब्ड फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ट्वेल्थ क्लास ऑफ यूपी बोर्ड and now i want to thank you for watching this video i also want if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and learn something from uh, the videos that are available on this channel i hope you will be fully satisfied if you watch them carefully and repeatedly and in future i shall continue to make valuable videos and make them available on this channel i would also like to request to you please write comments in the comment box so that i may be inspired and i may come to know about my weaknesses and i may i can make a reformation in making videos now good night because the time is uh, reaching 9 and 30 pm and i shall see you in the uh, next video so please wait for the next video thank you Good night.